Hey guys, long time no see, and yes, I did change that flag in the background. I don't know if you guys saw this, but there's a young man in Colorado Springs who's undergoing some, uh, I guess you could say, some pushback for his Don't Tread On Me flag. It's not a rainbow or split like mine, uh, but it is an iconic flag, and people are trying to rewrite history saying, oh, that is a racist flag. It has to do its origins in slavery. I don't think so. It actually has its origins fighting slavery against the British because the last thing the Americans wanted was to become subjects of British colony and British rule. But anyways, um, if you guys haven't seen, Donald Trump did get arrested. That whole mugshot thing is going crazy. Whether you're right or you're left, it's just blah, 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 it's blowing up. My friend Hi-Rez made a... AI rap video where he does his best Donald Trump impression and he raps as Donald Trump and it's going well. It's number one on iTunes right now and the funniest part is that here comes Snopes and here comes all the fact checkers going, Donald Trump did not release an album. This is actually an artist called High Res. Well, duh, we knew this. Meanwhile, you've got the Attorney General in California suing Chino for outing children. Um, I'm sorry, but last I checked, children aren't supposed to be keeping secrets from their parents. And the last thing we really want is parents to send their kids off to school going, okay, bye, Johnny. We'll see you next time. And we'll see you at the end of the day. And there's the teacher going, okay, Johnny, you're going to be Susie now. We totally understand. And if your mom comes to class, the entire class is going to know not to call you Johnny. We're all going to call you Susie in front of your mom. Oh, wait, no, it goes the other way around. We're going to call you Johnny when your mom's here and Susie when she's not around. You know, this is exactly exactly why what he's doing is completely bonkers and crazy. The last thing we need is parents teaching uh, their children, uh, I don't want to say parents, it's teachers teaching children about this gender stuff and hiding it from the parents. That's the hardest part. That's, as you can see, that's one of the most frustrating parts for me. Uh, because yes, I don't have kids. And no, I don't want to have these conversations with kids. I had this uh, discussion when I was out there at the rally um, last week. And parents were asking me, like, why are you here? Why are you here? And I said, well, because, look, I'm a gay man. I should not be having these conversations with my nieces, with my nephews, anybody who is not my direct child. It, I should, it would be prudent for me to have these conversations with my brother, maybe my sister-in-law, so they can be better prepared to have these conversations with their own children so that they can understand the things that I've seen in this community it's because they've never seen it. They only know their world, their their environment. I happen to know a new environment, a different environment, on which they're unfamiliar with. So it would be important for me to share this information with my brother and my sister or my family and let them share what they feel is appropriate and important with their child so that they can make the necessary decision to protect the next generation. That, to me, makes sense. What's going on with the schools and how there's this push to get children to understand gender, this is actually very backwards because I come from a community where a little boy was killed because of his gender nonconformity. And they'll say, oh, well, see, this is why we need to do it. But ultimately, it was the parents who... who committed the atrocities and ultimately ended the life of the child. It wasn't the classmates. So what are you trying to do? Are you trying to change the classmates or are you trying to change the home? And if you're trying to change the home, keeping parents in the dark is probably the last thing we want. So these are just a couple of topics I want to touch on. I'm still busy. I'm working with the Leadership Institute. I'm going to be flying later next month to Sonoma, California to give another talk. Uh, I was recently on an episode of Middle Ground by Jubilee Media, which is going to be coming out in the next month. My friends and I started a podcast. If you guys haven't checked us out, Billy, Frank, and Mario, we're going to be releasing that here in a few. Uh, there's some great chemistry there. And I'm still working with my Freedom Coalition, trying to help them uh, clean up our city, clean up our community. And I have another community in the works going, we want a coalition too. And I go, I can help you with that. So I've been very, very busy. So I do, do, I do apologize for not producing the videos more often. I need to get start getting on it. But as you can hear... Um, things are going really, really well, and I'm still not making money on this. I don't want to make money on this. Um, I get reimbursed for going to give a speech. That's great. I never ask. I'm not going to be like, well, my speaking fee is $500, blah, 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 blah. No. For me, the most important thing is to get the message out and to continue this fight that we're all raging. Um, the left is 
crazy. We see them breaking down. They can't pull out the numbers in Antifa that they used to be able to. And the sleeping giant has started to wake up. Parents are starting to look up from their screens, their devices, their entertainment, their music, their movies, their sports, and go, there's something wrong. How do we do, what, what happened? How did we get here? And I go, let me show you. And let me show you these people who can help you dig your, dig, dig your way out of it. So I encourage you guys, and I'm going to leave you with the chant from my local Freedom Coalition, which is actually kind of a really cool chant. It gives you an inspiration, and I hope that you guys um, take it to heart. Fight the good fight. Keep the faith. We will win. I love you guys all, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Mwah! Bye, guys.